Look at this. This is the view out our window tonight. Welcome to Hourless Life. In today's video, which is the final installment in our U.S. overlanding series, we take you up Highway 395 in California. We're going to drive on an ancient lake bed and spend the night surrounded by towering spires. We explore the stunning Alabama hills and take you all the way up to Whitney Portal, the gateway to the highest point in the lower 48 United States. We stop by a world-famous bakery and go just a bit overboard. We may have gone back the next morning. We camp in a spot Eric thought was pretty dumpy, but Caspian and I really liked. We take you along to visit some of the oldest living organisms on the entire planet. We dip into some natural hot springs, and I take full advantage of my birthday by dipping in a second hot springs all on my own. And finally, we make a visit to the most incredibly well-preserved Old West ghost town we've ever been to. This is a ride you don't want to miss, so strap in and let's get started. We're on our way to Death Valley National Park. It is a long stretch through Death Valley, but a long, beautiful stretch. And in the overlanding lifestyle, we often say that it's about the journey itself. It's really not about the destination. Our journey up Highway 395 was going to start in the town of Ridgecrest in the south and head all the way up to Bridgeport in the north. But our first stop was Trona Pinnacles, which we had heard about, a magical land that we can't wait to show you. Imagine driving on an ancient lake bed. That's what this is. This is Cyril's Lake, which is an ancient dry lake, and it has spires that are shooting up out of the ground, some rising as high as 140 feet. It's 3,800 acres in the California Desert National Conservation Area, and it's something that you absolutely have to see to believe. The cool thing about this is that you can drive out here and camp pretty much anywhere and be surrounded by this natural beauty. It is hot. It is 96 degrees outside. Brittany and I are sitting in the shade. What do you think, Brittany? I'm happy. I'm happy to just be hanging out in the shade with Eric's drink. And I feel like this is an alien landscape and it's really cool. Brittany must have a good eye because Hollywood directors agree. Battlestar Galactica, Star Trek V, Lost in Space, and Planet of the Apes were all filmed right here at Trona Pinnacles. Brittany decided we are having Greek salad tonight, so she is starting to prepare that. We're all sitting in the shade that Guardian is providing, and Caspian, he's playing with his remote control vehicle, which he's having a lot of fun with. So we just had a gust of wind. Here's our campsite, and our plates literally traveled all the way over here in the wind. So here's one turn around so you can see how far our campsite is and the other one went even further but listen if I got to chase plates this is a cool place to do it and this is how far we are and plates traveled Daddy, you saved the universe. I saved the universe I love that little guy after our night at Trona Pinnacles, we headed to the town of Ridgecrest to start our journey up 395, and we can't wait to show it to you. We are finally on 395. Officially. Woohoo! We just left the town of Ridgecrest. I got some work done. I've been working on the Mojave Road video. Hopefully you've already watched that. And we are heading towards Alabama Hills. Yeah, and this is my birthday week, and 395 is what I told Eric I wanted to do for my birthday week. So I'm really excited. Maybe we'll go off 395 and try and get some elevation for some cooler temperatures. But right now, we don't, we're just driving. We've made it into the town of Lone Pine. This is the gateway to Alabama Hills and to Whitney Portal and Mount Whitney. cute little town. We are entering the Alabama Hills after the city of Lone Pine and we've never been here before so we don't really know what to expect. We are just exploring Alabama Hills and looking for a good campsite. It got pretty windy so we're looking for some protection from the wind. This is a pretty cool spot. 
Ooh, look at that fire pit. It is windy up here, but Brittany and Caspian are already having fun, and we have our spot. The campsite we found was pretty spectacular. It was high up in the rocks. It was crazy windy. We had to face our camper shell into the wind. There were some other campers down in the valley, but they didn't dare come up some of the trails that we came up to get up here. Brittany and Caspian went exploring up in these rocks. But I got to tell you, the Alabama Hills is phenomenal. The Eastern Sierras are behind you. There's rock formations everywhere you look. And this is just an outdoor paradise to be explored. Want to remind people to take care of this area. We don't want it closed down for others who have never been up here. We're thankful that it's been kept open for us. And uh, I went to go track down Brittany and Caspian and find out what they were up to. Caspian, where are you going? Uh, they found a hiking trail. Found another little cave. Can you wave your hand outside? <laughs> Had a lot of fun. And it was over there. I was clock split what trail. Tell me what you see. I see rocks and rocks and that's it. Just lots of rocks here in yeah. Alabama Hills. Mm -hmm. What do the rocks look like? Mm, domes. Like domes? Are they up high or down low? Up high. Hopefully these views and experiences we've been sharing from here at Alabama Hills and the Trona Pinnacles area that we just shared with you are enough to make you add 395 to your bucket list, but there's so much more to come. Look at this. This is the view out our window tonight. I always ask my friends, what's your view? And uh, I'm talking about my overlanding friends because they're out there enjoying similar things like this. But I'm gonna say it's pretty hard to beat our view tonight. It's day two in the Alabama Hills area. You can see Alabama Hills here to the right. This is where we camped last night. But today, we are going up to Whitney Portal. Super excited to see it. The road that takes you up to the trailhead at Mount Whitney is called Whitney Portal Road, and it extends 13 miles from Lone Pine, California, all the way up to the campground and the start of the trailhead. The road itself is historic. This is the road that Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz used in their film, The Long Long Trailer, where Lucy has collected too many rocks and put them in her trailer and can't make the switchbacks. The good news is the road is completely paved and it's an incredibly scenic view, completely worth the drive. One of the most famous through hiking trails is right in front of us. It's called the Pacific Crest Trail and it starts just south of us and it goes all the way through the Sierra Mountains. These mountains right in front of us, Caspian. Can you imagine doing a big, long through hike over those big mountains? Whoa. Do you think you want to someday? I do. You want to come with me? Okay. Deal. What, what will Daddy do? Come with us. Oh, no. Daddy's not hiking that. Not with my knees. So what will I do? Maybe Daddy can relax in a hot tub somewhere. Too hot in the hot tub. Daddy, what? I have an idea. What's your idea? We need to, to drive to a hotel and we can set up for you and then you can hang out at the hotel. I could hang out at the hotel? Yeah. Would the hotel have a hot tub? Yes. Okay, deal. Good plan, everyone. Our ears are popping. Is slow going. It's a 20 mile an hour road once you make this turn. We just passed 7,000 feet and still climbing. It's crazy how small the rocks look from way up here when they were just towering over us when we were camping last night. So, on these kind of climbs, make sure you turn your AC off or you can overheat. Guardian's running at about 4,000 RPMs and we're doing about 25 miles an hour. Did Caspian fall asleep? He's working on it. Caspian, are you sleeping? Mm -hmm. Caspian, did you have chocolate ice cream? <laughs> you know how I know? It's all over your face. Hey, Mommy, I didn't have chocolate ice cream. Pistachio almond. Pistachio almond. 
but it had hot fudge in it. Oh, I knew there was chocolate in there somewhere. Mount Whitney is the highest point in the lower 48 uh, United States. Mount McKinley, which is now called Denali, is the highest point in North America. But this right here is the highest in the lower 48. This is where we're gonna stop for lunch and then decide what we're gonna do next. Caspian wanted to show you this Mother's Day cookie that Brittany bought today. And the beautiful thing about Brittany is she bought it for him. May you get it on video? Hey, wait. Wow, look at that. We spent some time exploring the Whitney Portal area, walking on trails, and Caspian was enjoying climbing on rocks. He was also incredibly curious, as he always is, and started asking questions which we love answering for him. Where's the river? Well, do you see where the water's flowing into the pond oh, over here? That must be where the river I see three alive fish in here. We're coming down from Whitney Portal. It was really fun to have a picnic lunch there and just look around at the waterfall and the pond and the trailhead. I would like to attain that level of hiking in my life. I aspire to that. We are headed back down <laughs> to Alabama Hills for another night. And I don't know, are we gonna try and grab our same site as last night? No idea. We'll see where we end up. Story of our life. Good morning. We are leaving Alabama Hills, sadly. It's been really good to us. And we are heading north up 395 to Bishop, California. Caspian, where are we? At the big meeting. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. It's a busy place. Cars have been coming in and out of here nonstop. Whoa! Uh, there's more over here. Eric Schatz Bakery has been in business since 1938 and all of their bread is baked in stone hearth ovens. They use no preservatives whatsoever, making everything from scratch. This bakery produces over 25,000 loaves of bread per day. Wow, this is really exciting. Mommy. We might never leave. What else are we getting? Look at those, are those like a cinnamon rolls or something? I have no idea. I think those are donuts. And then one of these right here, it looks like a, with the icing up front. So crazy. We're going to have bakery for breakfast, lunch, and dinner apparently. I think it's a great idea. How many bags do you have? I have three bags and a cookie. All right, Caspian, I'm ready. You gonna show us what we got? Oh my goodness! What is that? A caramel apple. What else did we get, Brittany? Let's see the spread. That's Holy your smokes. elephant ear. Got a chocolate croissant. Two apple fritters. There are just three of us, right? And last but not least, maple bar. Oh my gosh. Have we enticed you to visit 395 yet? Yeah. I thought so. After all this bakery goodness, it was time for a nap. After all the beautiful campsites we've been at, this is not the most scenic one. But we're just popping the tent to take a nap. It was $15 uh, to stay here if we wanted to stay here tonight. I don't think we're staying here tonight, but we can refill with water and we can take showers and then we'll probably go out to dinner later and then go find a camp spot, which is prettier than this. This being Brittany's birthday and Mother's Day weekend, I told Brittany she could do whatever she wanted to do. And now we're going to Las Palmas Mexican restaurant. And I have a feeling it has nothing to do with Mexican food and a whole lot to do with margaritas. One of the things that we do to pass the time while waiting for food at restaurants is Caspian tells stories and Brittany writes them down. And then she recites them. 
Then they did another 8856 race. <laughs> and then they got to the starting line. And then they, let's stop saying that. And so they went on. And they went on for the race. They stopped. <laughs> No, this isn't an impressive sight. It's actually pretty black and dumpy. And I hate to say that, but we're in Bishop and Brittany decided she did want to spend the night here because she wants to explore the town again tomorrow. So this is her campsite for the night. And I'm kind of glad we're showing this because, you know, we don't stay in campgrounds very often and we definitely don't stay in campgrounds that look like this very often, but Sometimes we do, and this is still part of our life, right, Caspian? Yes. What do you think of this place? I like it, and if you can turn the tin wall, well, that's my palace on that stump. Okay, I will show everybody your palace. So Caspian says this is his palace on the stump. May 8th, it's my birthday, woohoo! I'm 34 today. It's been a really nice day. We had a relaxing morning and then went back to the bakery, tried some new things, got way more than we could eat. So we have a huge bag of bakery items. And now we are getting ready to go see the Bristlecone Pines. We've been climbing for a while now. We're above 6,700 feet and going through this canyon on our way to see the Bristlecones. Oh, this is a one lane road, that's fun. Entering the ancient bristlecone pine forest in Inyo National Forest. It's been a long climb. How high are we now? We are at 9,654 feet and climbing. Let's go learn about the trees, baby, and look around us. All right, so Caspian, there's two different kinds of pine trees. There's a bristlecone pine tree, and there's a limber pine, and this is how we tell them apart. So on the bristlecone, the branches look like a curved foxtail, and they have dark green, short curved needles in clusters of five. And this is a bristlecone right in front of us. Then this national park, which we have not been to, Great Basin National Park, those are three places where the bristlecone pines grow. There are so many things we're seeing off of Highway 395, and the ancient bristlecone pine forest is one of them. What you may not know is that the bristlecone pine is among the oldest living organisms on Earth. The oldest known one is over 4,800 years old. So if you're in the area, make the detour and check it out. After enjoying our time in the ancient bristlecone pine forest, we headed back down to Bishop. Caspian had fallen asleep in the back of the Jeep, so we just let him rest it off before dinner. So we pulled up at our dinner spot, um, which is Texas-style barbecue in California. Brittany is still fielding phone calls for her birthday. Caspian just woke up from his nap not too long ago. This is Texas barbecue. So far it's all smiles because we haven't tried anything yet, but we'll see. We're very, very particular when it comes to our barbecue, but we need to sing happy birthday to mommy. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mommy. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Yay. So we just celebrated Brittany's birthday uh, yet again, all day today and a little bit yesterday and tomorrow's Mother's Day, but how's your day been? It's been really nice. Happy birthday, love. Happy birthday. One of the things that we'd been looking forward to the most on 395 were the famous hot springs near the Mammoth area. We headed on up and headed down the trail. Along the trail, we spotted this little guy. He was just busy doing his little snake stuff, living his happy little life. And we are walking along a path towards a hot spring called Wild Willies. And we saw a bunch of people headed down here. We've seen some people headed up. So we know it's going to be a little crowded. Uh, the parking lot at the trailhead probably had a good 10 vehicles. But uh, this is cool. We're looking forward to it. So, Brittany, how is it? It's warm. It's like... nice. Hey, Caspian. Hi. Are you in the water? 
What do you think about the hot spring? I like it. Did you know that this hot water is coming out of the ground? Where? We'll have to look around and see if we can find the source. Oh, there. Right there? Whoa. In there. Cool. Oh, over there, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> If we haven't done enough to convince you to visit 395 on your own yet, maybe this one's the ticket. There are at least six hot springs here at Wild Willies. It's just off Benton Crossing Road and well worth the trip. We've had a great morning. It was so fun going to Wild Willies Hot Spring. We're, we like hot springs, but we don't seek them out very often. So that was really fun to do as a family, something unique. And we just had lunch in Mammoth Lakes at Good Life Cafe. Pleasantly surprised that it wasn't too busy and we didn't have to wait too long. Now we're taking off on this sunny day and headed north to the Bridgeport area, which is going to be the farthest north that we go on 395, but we're not in a rush. We're going to go to another hot springs in that area because why not? Hopefully find a place to camp and explore a little bit in that area over the next couple of days. Here's Mono Lake. It's so beautiful. We just went down to a hot spring and Brittany spent some time by herself in the hot spring. We had a really nice view until this van showed up down here, but we figured somebody was going to take that site. We are just outside the city of Bridgeport, California on 395. And Caspian just woke up from his nap. We are getting ready to set up the tent and call this our campsite for the night. Caspian, what do you think of this spot? I like it. What do you like about it? Uh, I can control my car here. Is there lots of cool places to run your car? Yeah, and it can go on crazy dips. <laughs> Whoa. But we're down there. Uh-oh. What are you going to do? Go fetch it. Do it. And you have to be super careful. Now the question is, if I got down, how do I get up? How are you going to get up? Watch. How am I ever going to get them clean? It can be a challenge keeping Caspian clean, but he has so much fun outdoors as you can see, and it's totally worth it. Good morning from just outside Bridgeport, California. The past couple of days have been a blur of celebration. It's a lot to have my birthday and Mother's Day back to back. Wow, I am ready to get back to normal today. It's Monday and we are going to go check out a ghost town and then go into Bridgeport to maybe do some errands. Then we're gonna be on our way to Yosemite saying bye to 395. Another day and we're back on Highway 395. This morning we're actually backtracking a few miles to go to Bodie State Historic Park. It's actually a ghost town and it, we've been told that we shouldn't miss it. We're entering the town of Bodie. It's amazing how many structures are still here. I'm sure there's a lot to learn about. And then there was a the boiler for steam engines is that huge boiler right there. Let's keep learning. And then this is a photograph of the inside of this right here. So this shaft is this. Right I here. thought that was water. Where, sweetie? That. Right here? Yeah. Might be a little bit of water that got in. Yep. All right, where should we explore next? Should we, do we go down here? Do we think there's a walkway? Yeah. It's like a little sprite. So happy. Or what if we lived here? Yes! Whoa! That would be fun. Do you want to pretend that this is our town? Yeah. An oil cloth with the Ten Commandments, which once hung behind the pulpit, was stolen. Thou shalt not steal. Mommy, look at where the person who sang it in the music, and he played the music there. Oh, that's right, that's an organ, son. That's a beautiful organ, too. So what do you see, babe? 
There's gymnastics equipment. There's rings. There's a punching bag. It's crazy. It's like being back in time and seeing a time capsule. Well, what's crazy is that they just left everything. Yeah. I don't know. And if it, it didn't get looted, so it stayed here. Cool is right. This is the first brick building that we've seen. In Bodhi's final years as a town, it was a bar and cafe. Yeah, there's a big bar top that goes all the way down. So far, we've shared some amazing places. Trona Pinnacles, Alabama Hills, Whitney Portal, the bakery, and so much more. Even some hot springs. But Bodie Ghost Town, as it's commonly called, took the ticket. It's formerly called Bodie State Historic Park, and it is a must-see. If you are anywhere near the 395 corridor near Bridgeport, make the trek to Bodie and go see this for yourself. It is a gem in the United States. This is crazy. Just the store and everything in it. It's fun to see the food that's in there. Sauerkraut and vanilla, Giardelli's chocolate. Wild. Is it just a dead end? It's not just a dead end, baby. There's a foundation here for a building. See the big saw right here, baby? So it would have turned, mm -hmm. and then it would have cut the wood. And then look, he has an extra blade. In case he needed this one broke, he had an extra blade. He had mounted on the wall, and he could replace this one. The Bodie State Historic Park, it was pretty incredible. And what we learned was that out of all the buildings that we saw, there's only 5% still standing. So it was so much more full, more robust back in its heyday. And what we really found fascinating was how much stuff was left inside the buildings. And we stopped and talked to a ranger and he told us that they just couldn't transport it out. So when people would leave the town, they would gift it to somebody else. And eventually as people left and didn't have anybody to gift it to, it just stayed. What are your thoughts, babe? It was just so neat. It felt like walking back in time. And the fact that, first of all, it wasn't restored, which a lot of places that you go to like this are restored, which is cool because you can see it like it was but it doesn't feel as much of a time capsule as this did. And then, yeah, secondly, that there were actual things that the people who lived there used in their everyday life. The general store was amazing. That was one of my favorites. But even the sawmill was really cool. So many of the houses, one of them, there was a like a shirt just laid out on the bed, mm -hmm. just left there. And there were a couple houses that we saw where the drawers were left open after Yeah, they like they just took things out, yeah. packed it in a bag, and headed out of town. Hightailed it. I bet the walking tours of the mine are really cool. Yeah. So the mine is closed as part of the self-guided tour, but evidently during the summer they do ranger-guided tours of the mine. So now we're headed to Bridgeport. Uh, which is our next stop. We're going to find a place in Bridgeport to have lunch and then we're going to continue on towards Yosemite National Park or that area. Which means we're leaving 395. We're leaving 395. If you had three things to recommend to somebody who's going up 395 from uh, where we started in Ridgecrest and coming all the way up to Bridgeport, what are the three things you would recommend? Definitely Alabama Hills would be the first one. Whitney Portal would be really cool to see. That's two. Well, there's the ancient bristlecone pine tree forest. All right, so that's your three. Here's my three. Okay, go ahead. I would say you have to stop at Schatz Bakery in Bishop. That's a must. Uh, you have to check out at least one of the hot springs and soak in a natural hot spring. The Travertine. The Travertine Outside one Bridgeport. Is probably the one to check out. And then while you're here in Bridgeport, uh, stop here uh, at the uh, Bodie uh, State Historic Park. I think those are the three. I, I gotta throw in Alabama Hills as my bonus fourth, but Brittany already mentioned it. Uh, that was really cool too. Kay Caspian, what are your three favorite things on 395? Trona Pinnacles, Ghost Town, and what else is there? Well, we had Alabama Hills where all, where all the boulders are. So Trona Pinnacles, the ghost town, and Alabama Hills are your favorites, Caspian? Mm -hmm. The whole thing is cool. The whole, the 
whole drive. Well, it's such a short distance, too. It's an easy road trip. We hope you've been inspired to check out 395 on your own, and this video wraps up our U.S. overlanding travel series. Our next series is going to be our build series on our new Jeep Gladiator, which we're building out to drive around the world. We hope you're as excited about that as we are. We've been waiting a long time for this. We are actually in Denver while I'm editing this video, and we are dropping off the Gladiator soon. So be ready. Check it out. It's going to be a really cool build for an amazing trip. Thanks so much for joining. Subscribe, comment below, give us a like, and we hope to see you in the next video.